Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a real pleasure to welcome you to the Royal College of Surgeons of Ireland on the occasion of the Faculty of Dentistry conferring ceremony. Before declaring open the conferring ceremonies, I'd like to first introduce our platform party. At the table at the front of the stage, to your right, is Professor Laura Vianney, President of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland. Beside her, Professor Albert Lung, Dean of the Faculty of Dentistry at RCSI. To the back of the stage, again from your right, Ms. Emma Scally, Professional and Postgraduate Examinations Manager at RCSI. Dr. Pat Cleary, Vice Dean of the Faculty of Dentistry at RCSI. Professor Chris Lynch, Dean-Elect of the Faculty of Dentistry at RCSI. And my name is Cahal Kelly, I'm CEO Registrar of RCSI. I now invite the Dean-Elect of the Faculty of Dentistry, Professor Chris Lynch, to come forward to the lectern to declare open the formal ceremony. Thank you, Cahal. I am delighted to invite the candidates for fellowship and membership of the faculty to please rise as we recite the declaration listed on page eight of your conferring booklet. I invite you to recite the declaration in unison with me. I, say your name, do hereby solemnly and sincerely declare and promise that I will observe and be obedient to the statutes, bylaws, and ordinances of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, and that I will, to the utmost of my power, endeavor to promote the reputation, honor, and dignity of the said college. I will ask the fellows to remain standing. Members, you may take your seats. So if the fellows remain standing, please. Thank you. I present the candidates for fellowship of the Faculty of Dentistry, and I invite the Dean, Professor Albert Lung, to admit the new fellows. By virtue of my office of Dean, in the presence of the President, I admit you fellows of the Faculty of Dentistry of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland. I will now call on the candidates to come forward to receive your scroll from the Dean. For the FFD Fellowship in Oral Surgery with Oral Medicine, Richard Carr. Walid El Kinini. <laughs> Maida Hanif. Paul Keelty. <laughs> Kira Mulverhill. For the FFD in Pediatric Dentistry, Munira al -Shib. <laughs> For
for the FFD in Prostodontics, Shakira Aguirre. Sirsha O'Toole. For the Fellowship of the Faculty of Dentistry, Adiundum, Mark A. Latta. <laughs> Niall McGuinness. Jamie Robert Toole. <laughs> For the Intercollegiate Specialty Fellowship Examination in Pediatric Dentistry, Siobhan Lucy. For the Intercollegiate Specialty Fellowship Examination in Restorative Dentistry, Martina Hayes. I now invite Dr. Pat Cleary, Vice Dean of the Faculty of Dentistry, to come forward to the podium to the lectern to introduce the candidates for membership. I now invite the candidates for membership of the Faculty of Dentistry and membership of General Dentistry to be upstanding. I, in, I invite the Dean, Professor Albert Leung, to admit the new fellows, and the new members, sorry. By virtue of my office of Dean, in the presence of the President, I admit you membership of the Faculty of Dentistry and membership of the General Dental Surgery of the Faculty of Dentistry of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland. Now I will call each of you in turn to come forward to receive your scroll from the Dean. Mawada Abdel Magid. Sarah Abdel Messi. <laughs> Samira Al Blushi. Alia Al Hamadi <laughs> Shaika Al Nakbi. Take Chan. <laughs> Shaha Edib. Mohammed Al Gamali, (Applause) 
Lakshmi Harish. Jamal Hassan in absentia. Mariam Rahman Jufari. Nida Mubashir in absentia. Osman Osman in absentia. Yamuna Pandur Pandurai. <laughs> Shristi Punjani. Hengia Zhang. <laughs> Noreen Salim. Islam Shalash. <laughs> Mohammed Shirin. Nur Sohark. <laughs> Shivani Talrija. Kisenija Zaporozeva. I invite Professor Chris Lynch, Dean elect, to come forward and announce the candidates for membership in general dental surgery. I now invite the following candidates to come forward and receive their scroll from the Dean for Membership in General Dental Surgery. Dari Alarada. <laughs> Hiba. Alcandare <laughs> Maria Alcabaz. Shaika Almashan <laughs> 
Fashima Al Musa. Muhammad Hussain. <laughs> Kathleen McCarthy. Catherine McGillicuddy. <laughs> Ashraf Muhammad. We now move on to the Diploma of Primary Care Dentistry of the Faculty of Dentistry. I will call each of you in turn to come forward to receive your scroll from the Dean. Michael Clarkson. Liana Dineen. <laughs> Hamza Malik. <laughs> Imtiaz Umd. Michael Ryan. Congratulations to all our new fellows, members, and diplomats, and congratulations to the Dean, Dean-elect, and faculty officers of the Faculty of Dentistry at RCSI. Mm -hmm. It now gives me great pleasure to invite the President of the Royal College of Surgeons in Ireland, Professor Laura Vianney, to address us. So good morning. Dean of the Faculty of the Dentistry, Professor Albert Long, Vice Dean, Dean-elect, past deans, Vice Chancellor and CEO of RCSI, academic colleagues, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, and especially to our new graduates in dentistry and all of those in abstention receiving certificates and diplomas in dentistry. It is my great pleasure to provide, to preside over the ceremony this today and to welcome you and your families here to RCSI. Today is a fitting reward for the hard work and commitment that you've shown in your studies over the last number of years. All of the platform party and RCSI staff understand the mental and physical challenges required to prepare for these degrees for which you have been awarded today. The long hours of study and the ability to concentrate and focus takes considerable commitment. Your degrees, certificates and diplomas recognize your ability to use your intellectual knowledge and critical thinking, and these skills will be vital for the successful careers in health science and dental medicine which lie ahead of you. Your degrees also open up a world of wonderful opportunity as you set out an exciting journey that will allow you train and practice throughout the world. Today, we also acknowledge your families who've supported you during your student years. 
We acknowledge all those who have made sacrifices to support you during your studies and are proud of your achievements in graduating today. The health sciences today, however, do face many challenges. And it is certain that all of you will work in increasingly complex healthcare environments where you will need to use the skills that you've gained during your training. Dentists, pediatric dentists, and all dental healthcare professionals of the future will need to be adaptive to the constant expansion of medical knowledge, changes in technology, medicines, increased patient and societal expectations. In addition to regulatory change, all of which require a commitment to lifelong learning and an ability to adapt to the changing world that we live in. We also hope that the education you've received in RCSI is broader than just your chosen field, but has instilled in you a sense of curiosity, not only about dentistry, medicine and the health sciences, but also about the world at large. It is this which will not only enrich your life, but will also allow you to contribute to society in a mean meaningful way. In this regard, the academic qualifications you have received today will not only allow you, but should compel you to add your voice to those who resist the corrosion of truth by those who deny scientific basis underlying our professions. Despite the many shortcomings of the medical and scientific communities, the methods of scientific inquiry, practice within medicine, dental medicine, and scientific professions are the only rational approach to deal with healthcare and environmental changes of our times. The challenge for each of you as you embark on your chosen career is to find fulfillment in this lifelong journey of new knowledge and impart this in not only your professional lives, but also to be a societal advocate supporting rational discourse with the communities we serve. To support you in your journey and manage the challenges that all healthcare professions face, we not only encourage you to maintain the strong friendships you've made with our, your fellow classmates and with RCSI, we would also encourage you to form those bonds with those you work with as increasingly in the health sciences, there will be an emphasis on team working, which requires the ability to communicate effectively, demonstrate leadership, and acquire an understanding of the workings of healthcare management and the administrative structures in which you will work. It also increasingly is apparent that no healthcare system can fully support all the healthcare needs of society. So it's important to be an advocate for not only each of your patients, but it's also important to understand the broader societal needs in the communities you will work in and use the resources, resources at your disposal carefully. The basis of all practice is empathy, which is the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. As healthcare professionals, this will be central to all that we do. It supports the trust that patients and society place in us and is a source of so much of our professional satisfaction. Today is also time of knowledge to acknowledge the commitment of the teachers who taught and supported you over the last number of years. It is their endeavors which have given you the skills to practice your chosen specialty and which will allow you make a significant contribution to the well-being of the communities in which you will work. RCSI is proud of our mission statement which refers to developing healthcare leaders who make a difference worldwide, and this is our ambition for you. Today we graduate fellowships of the Faculty of Dentistry at Eundum, fellowship of the Faculty of Dentistry, Intercollegiate Specialty Fellowship, fellowship Examinations in Pediatric Dentistry, and many others. You will join the 19,000 alumni from just under 100 countries who have graduated from the RCSI over the years. We are proud of our international reach, and we look forward to your contribution to the growing body of alumni who are making a worldwide difference and whom we are all so rightly proud of. Finally, let me congratulate again our new graduates and acknowledge the support of their families. I wish you every success in your personal and professional lives, and I'm confident that the education you received here in this wonderful college will equip you well for the challenges you will encounter in your future years. Take care of yourselves and enjoy your day. Thank you very much, President. Uh, can I thank our Portering Estates Conference and Events team for facilitating this morning's event. Uh, once again, sincere congratulations to our new fellows, members and diplomats. It gives us great pleasure to invite you and your family and guests to join us for a reception in the College Hall and Boardroom. And if I could please ask you to be upstanding for the outward procession. Thank you. <laughs>